Well, good morning. Here we are in Knaresborough in North Yorkshire and uh, looking at today's job, I think it's probably going to be the most challenging I've ever done. Beautiful riverside property and there's lots of Yorkshire stone, crazy paving. The trouble is there's a lot of tree cover, so it's quite shady in places and that also gives rise to a lot of organic growth, algaes, lichens, all sorts of different things really. Environmentally, there are other challenges because of the proximity to the river. So I'm going to have to keep any use of chemicals to an absolute minimum. And where I do use them, I'm not going to be able to rinse them away. Just leave them to dry on the surface. So I'm going to use lots of pressure, probably hot water and maybe even steam as well. It's going to be a really difficult job. So let's just have a quick look around the site and see what conditions we're going to be up against. So as well as its location on the River Nid, the property is positioned adjacent to the cliffs, which are a really prominent feature of Knaresborough. Behind the house, we've got this steep woodland and that's going to rain down all sorts of organic matter onto the property, which is going to create some of these challenging cleaning conditions that I've talked about. So the first area we're going to look at is this uh, patio. It's a mixture of um, Indian sandstone. There's also a small amount of block paving. We've got weeds, we've got moss, a lot of white lichen as well as we can see here on the block paving. As we walk out onto the terrace, we've got York stone, crazy paving. And once again, there's a huge amount of organic matter here. And once again, we've got black lichen, white lichen, weeds, moss, a little bit of everything here. I mean, look at these lichens. They're absolutely huge. They belong in a museum. And at either side of the property, we've got these pathways which lead down to the lane. So there's a lot to do. Let's get started. So I started there using the, uh, the lance with a, quite a wide fan jet um, on this crazy paving, but uh, already managed to loosen a piece of the mortar there, the pointing. I expect this is going to be typical of the whole surface. It is pretty broken up actually. So rather than risk causing any more damage, I'm going to fire up the boiler and use hot water. We're going to set it for about 90 degrees. <laughs> Well, the hot water is working quite nicely. We're not causing any further damage to the pointing now, uh, but it's pretty slow going. So I've decided to up the temperature. We'll use steam instead. Crank the temperature right up to 145 degrees. Let's see how this works out. It's going to be a little while before I get to this area, so I thought I'd just pre-treat it with some chemical just to soften up some of this really bad black lichen that we've got up in this area. So, a uh, short coffee break and time to take uh, stock. This is, without any question of a doubt, the toughest job I've ever done. Um, the surface is absolutely ingrained with layers of lichen, lichen upon lichen upon lichen. When you get that away, if you can, what you then find is that the underlying stone is carbonated, carbon deposits. Really difficult to remove, even with steam. What I've decided to do is I'm going to pre-treat the area with some chemical to, in an effort to soften it up, 
before I get there with the steam. Environmental, there's no question of flooding the area. I'm not going to do that. Instead, I'm just going to use a handheld sprayer and put a, a, a very light, precise misting just exactly where I need it. And hopefully that will soften it up, make it easier to remove. Kit Kat, don't mind if I do. Feeling pretty overwhelmed with this. This green lichen infestation, which is pretty much everywhere, it is so tough to remove. I'm, I'm quite sure it would survive a global nuclear holocaust. It's just incredibly resilient. Furthermore, the, a lot of the flags, not all of them, but a lot of the flags are very carbonated. Um, I expect the stone was reclaimed maybe from one of the many mills that used to scatter the north of England back in the days when steam power and coal power was a thing and everything was black. I think I read somewhere that uh, you need something like hydrochloric acid to remove it which is a very very dangerous chemical. But anyway, I'm not going to let that get to me too much. So sit and enjoy the view. So with all of the crazy pacing finished, which really did drive me crazy, um, all that remains now is this upper patio area. Uh, this comprises of Indian sandstone and block paving. The area has been uh, pre-treated with chemicals to soften up all of the lichens uh, and I'm hoping this will clean up pretty quickly.
so remember this area here which had a lot of residual black lichen staining um, well I pressure washed that off with the, using the turbo um, but even after using the the turbo nozzle I was still left with some artifacts of the of the lichen shadows if you will a little bit like this so what I did is I post treated this area with a little bit more chemical and I've just left it there and you can see it's absolutely got rid of the last traces so the uh, the patio area is cleaned off now we've got these artifacts in other places so I'm just gonna do a final spray with chemical and I'm gonna leave that to evaporate what will happen is that the chemical will react with the staining and start degrading almost immediately the water from the solution will evaporate and we'll be left with just a tiny amount of salt on the surface which will wash away at the next day environmentally speaking because of the proximity of the river I've been very careful to avoid too much use of chemicals where I have used them I've just left them in place so they dissipate and evaporate away there's been no runoff into the surrounding ground or any drainage one last thing to do is that we've got some green algae growth on this uh, trellis now I could pressure wash that but the results are going to be undesirable you'll end up with marks and it'll just be a bit ununiform so what I'm going to do as a last thing is to try a biocide treatment called BAC50 over the coming days that will kill the algae and the green colour will disappear going back to the natural wood. So we're all finished and uh, this was a really challenging job, probably the toughest job I've ever done. Um, the patio area is looking great. Uh, you remember these black lichen artifacts that we had there? Well I've just post treated there with the chemical, it's still wet, still doing its work but those artifacts are slowly dissolving away, um, you know, gone. The block paving clean. The customer's got some kiln dried sand so they're going to finish this off by themselves. A bit more Indian sandstone here. Now the crazy paving. You can't make a silk purse out of a sow's ear. Um, but what I have managed to do is get it all very clean compared with how it was. Because we were using uh, the steam cleaning, I've managed to keep um, any damage to the pointing to an absolute minimum. There were already some loose pieces and they're still loose, nothing could be done about that. But we certainly haven't made it any worse and I'm pleased about that. The main thing about the crazy paving, as well as it being dirty, it was covered in hundreds <laughs> of lichens, um, really infested in places. Uh, this area over here was particularly bad. Uh, it's come up really well. We've still got these carbon stains, which I'm not able to deal with. Um, reclaimed stone. The customer's completely relaxed about that. They just can't believe the colour difference. So, lovely job to work on, apart from the challenges. Decking job tomorrow? All good?